The Safer Web plugin is one of the most useful plugins that you can use with GIMP. Now, when you first install GIMP, if you go File, you'll see Save and Save As, as well as Save a Copy and Save as Template. But you won't see Save for Web. And that's because I, you still need to install the actual plugin. So in order to install the plugin, you first need to download it from the GIMP homepage. So you want to go to the GIMP homepage, www.gimp.org, and then click on Plugin Registry. And once you get there, you want to search for Save for Web. And just hit Enter. And you're going to get your search results. And you can see that the first one comes up is Save for Web. So you want to click on that to get to that page. And you're going to see two files. If you are working on a Windows or Linux computer, you want this Save for Web Win32.zip. If you are working on a Mac, you want GIMP Save for Web tar.bz2 if you are going to install this on a Mac be sure when you download this file to read the instructions because it's a little more tricky than saving installing this plugin on a Windows computer so I'm just going to click this to download it and I'm going to save the file right on my desktop and my file has been downloaded. So what I now need to do is to just open up that file. So I'm going to go to my desktop and here it is. And you simply need to extract the file using any normal kind of file unzipping program. And now I can see that it's been extracted. Now if I open this folder we have a license and then this instructions text. But all that you need to do is to take this web export.exe folder uh, file and simply copy and paste it into another folder. And you're going to find that folder if you're working on Windows, probably in your root user folder. So if I just click start and go up to my user folder, this is the main folder on your computer where you have your documents, your downloads, your music, pictures, videos, etc, etc. And you're going to find a folder which is called .gimp-2.6. So on some systems it might be saved in a different place. If you just Google it along with your actual computer operating system, then you'll be able to find out exactly where you need to look. And all you need to do is open this folder and then go into the plugins folder. And you simply need to take this web export file, copy it, and paste it in. And it's really that simple. So what I'm going to do now is just close GIMP down and restart it. And you'll see that as soon as I reopen GIMP, we are going to have another option. So now if I go File, in addition to all the normal save operations, you will see Save for Web.